got a new video. So this one is a super, 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 that's a good start, isn't it? Um, a super simple set. Uh, it's just um, pretty plain as far as the acrylic goes. Um, I have left you some prep in here. I hadn't decided to record this video until just after I started doing them. And then I thought, hey, might as well. Um, so I'd already sanitized the nails and pushed back the cuticles at this point. And then I go in with my fine sanding band. I use this on a very, very low speed. Um, and I basically tickle the nails. So I tickle away all that excess skin from the nails with this sanding band. I literally do not use any pressure whatsoever um, if you're unsure then definitely go and get e-file trained first before you do this but all I'm doing is removing all the dead skin from that nail plate and then I'm going to go in with a different cuticle bit to what I usually use so this is not the one that I normally use the one that I normally use broke it snapped um, so I'm waiting for a new one to come so in the meantime I'm using this and it's still on a low speed and I'm just taking off any excess that is still around the cuticle walls that I might have missed with the bigger sanding part um, this does work for me perfectly fine I get very minimal losses um, I do have the odd person that likes to lose nails and then I have a lot that just don't um, and they do basically stick like shit so yeah I get calls all the time to say I need to cancel my appointment my nails haven't moved um, can I just transfer it until next week all this stuff so obviously whatever I'm doing is right and then I'm going in and I am applying my forms from CJP um, and I did get told to roll them between my fingers. I already knew this, you know, um, but for some reason I just stopped doing it and then they move quite a lot. Um, so I started rolling them again and yes, she is correct. This lady is correct and they actually stuck much better. So thank you for that. Um, so I'm gonna apply all these forms and then I believe I go in with my NSI primer and uh, my pH balance bond which is um, NSI as well so it's a dehydrator um, but it's a pH balance dehydrator okay so what I just said then I just listened back and I said that whatever I'm doing is right whatever I am doing is right for me <laughs> it's working for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right way there's lots of ways to do nails um okay so this first nail I'm going in with fantasy from CJP and I've gone in at the cuticle um I am holding the nail down and then I'm getting that into shape this is a thin layer and I will go in with another bead um, to create my apex in a minute okay this set by the way will look super simple um and it is super simple it's just got lots of kinds of hollow added in a little bit later which makes it hollow sexual do you know what I mean yes So I will cap these in clear, but that's just because it's what I do. I like to cap things in clear. Um, I also want to take the opportunity to say hi to everyone who's subscribed to me since my last video. Um, I super appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the dislikes. The dislikes are character building. You are building my character right now so you just carry on if that's what you want to do you just go dislike my video i'd rather you liked it but whatever you know um but yes welcome to everybody who has subscribed to me recently i appreciate all of yours i love you all seriously um i have got the next three nails which are exactly the same so i'm not gonna bore you and like carry on talking about it do you know what i mean i did manage to get a better camera angle this time so thumbs up to me you know do -do. um and yeah i don't know what else to talk about to be honest with you because it's just so freaking simple <gasps> Here's a question. How do you all go about getting people to have crazy nail designs? You know, like nails by Annabelle and 
highly wearies designs and some of even Lizzie's designs are pretty, you know what, like different. How do you get people to have something different? My clients come in and they're like, so I want glitter on this finger and this finger. I want it on braid on that one and then a full glitter on that one. Literally, come on, give me a break. Like, I just want to do something crazy, a little bit mad, a little bit different. I mean, I have got a couple of clients that just like, yeah, go on, do whatever you like. And literally, I've never like, I've never gone crazy crazy because I know what kind of stuff they like. But how do you go about getting started with letting people do that kind of design like long stiletto sexy do you know what I mean just like marbles and glitter fades and just just cool shit I just want to do cool shit just let me do some cool shit do you know what I mean but they just don't it's like yes I just want three types of glitter and this colour that doesn't match at all and I want you to do something with that and I'm like mm, okay yeah Okay, so clear base. I am currently like gelling my nails right now because I've just soaked them off and I don't have time to do a new set. It's too late. It's like quarter to ten at night. I mean, I could probably do a set, but you know, too tired. Nobody's got time for that. Let's go one in the morning. Um, okay, so clear base. Um, I'm going in and then I'm going to ombre a little bit of the fantasy up um, and then I'm going to sort of uh ombre it out if you like just 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 blend it out into nothing and then i'm going to pick up the tiniest amount of mirror mirror um which is from diamond glitters i have had it for pure time pure pure time i'm hoping they still sell it because i'm literally running out now but i love mirror mirror it's the tiniest tiniest amount on a tiny tiny bead of clear acrylic and i am just gonna ombre that very 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 thinly um, down the nail and then I'm going to cap once again in clear um, I'm going to leave you to watch this and then when I come back to add my extras at the end I did tell you it was a super simple set do you know what I mean like everything else goes on at the end but it has such a nice effect it's salon quick you can do it at home quick as long as you're qualified and you have the right apparatus do you know what I mean um but yeah it is a super quick simple set um I think it took me like I think it's just over like 55 minutes to do this set so pretty quick do you know what I mean um and that was from start to finish so good set nice easy it's effective it's sparkly everyone loves them and it takes very little time or effort so I'll come back in a second
Okay, so now that's done, I have gone away, I have filed all of these nails and I am applying Kiara Sky Dipper Base to adhere this um, little bow. This little bow come from B&M Bag, no we're not B&M Baggins, um, Home Baggins it was, in a little nail art set um, and I just took the alloys out and put them into my tub where I keep all the rest of my silver alloys and this is what my client chose with these bowls so that was okay. Um, I'm going in there with um, the CJP Tack Free Top Coat um, and I've just waited for that Kiara Sky to dry. It does take like a second or two to dry properly. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in top coat then and then I will have gone away and no, I haven't dried them yet. I've just gone back over the pinky and now I'm going to just sugar some super holographic so it's the finer holographic and this is also from diamond glitters um, and I'm just going to sprinkle that on tap it in and then I will send my client off to dry these um, and then I will give that a dust off as well just to make sure I've got rid of any excess um, now that it's dried I'm also going in with this hollow and I'm just going to ombre this down so I go in at the tip with the, the most of the products I only pick up a tiny bit um, but I carry on rubbing it in to make it a little bit more ombre at the end and then re top coat and that is it I'm going to leave you the finished set I hope you enjoyed this video and I love you all see you soon bye Thank you.